The second piece in the morning workshop that we jumped into was a piece called Influence Liqui by Vinko Globokar, which comes from a larger work of his called Laboratorium. And this particular piece is written using graphic notation. Part of the challenge of working in a piece using graphic notation is trying to decode what the symbols mean in terms of creating sound on our instruments. So for example, you look in the top left hand corner and you have a note with an arrow pointing down and a well, what are you going to do? Let's start with that part. What would you do? Aiden, what would you do? Sing your lowest note. Sing your lowest note. Absolutely. Yeah. So he's figured it out. When you first saw the notation for the global car, what were your first thoughts? Like, I was like, whoa, scared. what is this? <laughs> so you haven't seen any music written like that before? No. What were your first thoughts? What the heck am I looking at? Um, oh, oh dear. This is going to be interesting. Influence Liquid is all about taking these sounds that we can make on our instruments and adapting them, transforming them, changing them based on the presence of water being there. So he asked that the performers perform playing uh, while drowning their instruments, sometimes pulling their instruments out of water. And what that does is, is create, create some very interesting sounds, to say the least. And so we had 10 buckets of water for the, uh, all of the students to explore these different sounds and um, to, to see what happens when you take your instrument that you're used to playing in a traditional way and what happens when you add water into the mix. Did you get to explore some of the sounds in the water? Yeah, it was like... When you put it in the water, the water sometimes went like flying or it made like a lower sound. I learned how, well I didn't have to dunk my cello, so that was really, but the big symbol was really, that I had was really fun. You got to like hit it and then you would put it in and it would just create a different sound and that was really cool. The trumpets made a pretty cool sound underwater. So you could hear the bubbles and stuff. And we take these interesting sounds and then of course form them into a larger work. Another aspect of this piece is that it can be conducted and guided. We're planning to have students become the leaders of this particular piece. We're working toward a side-by-side -side concert in the spring with like a marble sound and CMS together on stage. Uh, what do you think of that? I think it's pretty cool. You guys sounded pretty good. I think it'd be cool to play with you. What do you think about that? I mean, I'd love to be a part of that. That sounds that sounds awesome. Alarmo Sound coming to work with the students in CMS in, and in St. Louis as a whole um, is a great opportunity to bring the energy that we have for contemporary music uh, to a city that is wanting and ready for it.